Um, we're disappointed. The the boys are disappointed. Obviously, um, they they feel um, that they they could have give a, a better account of themselves. Certainly in the, in the first half. Um, you know, my team one hundred percent deservedly won that game. I thought the skill set was was um, pretty good in that first half. In, in as far as the conditions were concerned, so congratulations to them. Um, but I'm proud of the, I'm proud of the boys. Um, the way that they came back. I mean, it could have been a could have been a landslide, you know, with the, with the way the score was at uh, half time. But but uh, I think if you can weigh the game up, really, um, with three or four maybe more opportunities in, in, in that second half uh, that that we didn't take. But it says just how um, how good to your performance it was in that second half uh, in consideration to. To where they were uh, at half time, so um, I'm proud of the boys and um, the the way that some of the individuals have uh, have learned, stood up, done some unbelievably good stuff, and then some really poor stuff on the back of that is is is, is brilliant learnings for for this group. Um, five of them play played in the in the green shirt for the first time. Um, a good handful of them. I've not had too much experience. It's a new team coming together within seven days with flying to the other side of the world. So you'd expect a bit of, a bit of ups and downs. So in all, I think, um, I think it's a, a good day for us in, in, in regards to lads learning lessons and um, knowing that if we fix a few things, especially discipline wise, that we, um, we can give a better, better account of ourselves in, in, in the next game. I said it during the week. This 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 game is is huge to us, and, and, and the next Murray game is they're just as important as, as the test matches because um, you know it's well documented that there's um, been um, seldom chances of, of playing international rugby, especially especially away uh, abroad on tour over the last three years, and uh, you try and find ways of giving people a chance because before the World Cup. Um, there isn't that much time. Time is running out as far as that's concerned, so we've got to find out about people and give them an opportunity. Um, Kian doesn't look um, uh, too good, but I wouldn't like to. It was a little bit of pain coming off coming off the field that's settled down a bit, so we'll, we'll see with him, um, Jimmy. Um, came off and he, he um, with a with a strain. Uh, well, he, he thinks it's a strain, but he, he's feeling good in the, in, in the changing rooms there. Um, there's a few lads cramping at the end as well. You know, it was a tough old game, and especially for the forwards. Um, so, like we always do, we'll, we'll just uh, dust ourselves off and wait and see how people wake up tomorrow morning. James Hume did look good either though. Scored for Jeremy Lappin, did he actually? No, no. He actually passed his. He actually passed his HIA by independent doctor. Um, we we brought him off as as a precaution. So um, put Kian on, and then that happens to Kian, which is which is not nice, really. So um, James Hume has a bit of a, a, a groin injury that needs assessing tomorrow. Oh, it is what it is. Yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll have a good think on the, on the way home back to Auckland tonight. Um, yeah, look, it's obviously it's it's a huge privilege to be able to do that, um, especially for Shawnee and his young family. Um, you know, a kid who's had had a bright future, and to be able to get that privilege to be able to put that jersey down and uh, show a bit of respect to him and his family and uh, yeah, yeah it was privileged. Um, Gavin Goon is sitting to really tangled there to make it 
He was excellent, yeah. Um, Craig Casey was really good as well. And, you know, and Fitz and Stars, other people were really good. And then there was a few bits that needed tidying up, but that's how we learn, you know. I mean, look at the experience that uh, Kim Prendergast and Joe McCarthy's had. It's, it's priceless for us. Um, you know, Big Joe had some great carries, etc. You know, give a few penalties away that you, that you'll learn from, and you know he's in a new system for the first time, etc. So um, he's only going to get better for, for for this experience, and exactly the same for for Kim Prendergast as well. And um, you look throughout the team, really, people getting the chance um, for the first time, and uh, yeah, you know, a special mention has to go to. Now Scannell as well, you know, coming off the plane a few days ago and actually playing really well, you know. Yeah, he, uh, he was a little bit worried of letting the team down if he certainly didn't do that, he added when he came on. I thought he was excellent, yeah. I thought he was great, I thought he was nice and composed. I thought we played some really nice rugby at, at times, you know, opened them up a little bit and, you know, it's just that last pass that we we um we was a little bit too too eager with you know as far as decision making is concerned but i thought frolls um conducted uh, the team very well um i think that's now the only hit you know uh, we had good uh pieces throughout the match um, obviously the Maori team came out with a good start um but i disciplined lit us down and I certainly put my hand up for a few of those disciplines and you can't just back up a discipline after another discipline, um, especially with a quality team like that. They'll just, uh, they'll just keep playing on top of you and pile the points on. What was it like for Parsley? Like you were talking about being hard to left? Um, like I said in uh, the interview before, uh, you know, it's a, it was a privilege. Uh, I got emotional. It was, it was an honour, obviously. It was, I haven't played in front of my family for eight, nine years, um, especially in front of my mum for the first time. So that was good, very good. What were the messages you played out from half-time? Did you get really to half-time? Sure, look, um, we just had to, you know, believe in ourselves. Um, and we certainly, you know, looked each other in the eye and we certainly believed that, you know, we could be a lot better than what we did in the first half. Um, and I thought uh, the boys came out and really did that in the second half. And, you know, like I said, a lot of the guys put their hands up, especially some of those young guys who haven't had that kind of experience before, and they certainly came out of the blocks. You talked about the supply of the security institution. What sort of work on from this match? I don't know if if, uh, if if that transfers really. You know, there's, there's 15 guys sat in the sat in the stand ready to train tomorrow. Um, of course, they'll watch the game and take some lessons from that. Certainly, how the the Mary All Blacks played as well. You know, um, but I'm sure that those boys uh, feel for the teammates and. Uh, They'll, they'll prepare properly uh, tomorrow and look forward to. There's nothing like sitting in a stand and watching a live game and actually knowing that you've got a chance in three days' time as well. So uh, that that will stand 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 us in good stead. Do you expect to see a lot of similarities between Maori side of the sports tonight and All Blacks? Do you think there will be some There's a similarity in, in how most of the. Um, New Zealand uh, team teams play anyway, you know, and uh, I thought the skill set is certainly in, certainly in those conditions in the first half was excellent from the Mary All Blacks, and they narrowed us up uh, quite a bit and uh, got us on, got us on the edges from from time to time, and we we know that the skill set for the All Blacks is even better, so we know we're going to be, be tested there as well. Does it change anything in terms of selection or anything for Saturday at all? Is it still as planned? Uh, yeah, we've 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 obviously got a plan. Those those plans are obviously there's always going to be one or two moving parts in regard to injuries and substitutions, etc. We see how people wake up tomorrow and um, and, and assessing. We've got the morning off to to, to do that. We train tomorrow afternoon. It's great to have these big weekends on tours nowadays. Are you, are you, is it you want to see more of? Uh, do you enjoy? 
they're old school, aren't they? Um, I used to enjoy them, uh, definitely. I used to enjoy um, playing more than playing more than training. I don't know what you think, Bundy. Yeah. Um, you know, to to just roll your sleeves up and get stuck in. Um, yeah, I think that's that's why we all started playing in the first place. You know, to to compete. Um, so. I, I, I love the concept of a of a Lions tour, etc. You know, this is a bit unique in itself. Obviously, with with um, with Ireland uh, doing this for the first time, um, it's because of what's happened uh, to the world in the last three years, and uh, it'll stand to us in the future.